Well, welcome to Let Me Encourage You Thursday. Really glad that you have taken a few minutes to join me for just a few minutes from the Word of God that I trust will be an encouragement to you as we kind of conclude this this fourth week, this fourth week of June. Can you believe it? It's, it's near the end of June. It's just, man, unbelievable. And all of these now getting close to four months that we have been sheltering in place and experiencing everything that is connected to COVID-19 and the pandemic and then you know all of the all of the things that have been happening in our streets you know it's just unbelievable isn't it it's just unbelievable you know my heart breaks over these things you know you you see an injustice and it's just crushing to your spirit and then you see response that ends in violence and destruction and, you know, more, you know, I, I read I read last week something along these lines that an act of evil doesn't, doesn't solve an act of evil or, or something like that. And I went, yeah, that is so true. So true. All of this, all of this is just, it can be a little overwhelming, can't it? We've been using that word a lot and I, I certainly don't want to be... Uh, purpose, purposely, without purpose, redundance. I don't want to share something redundantly without purpose. But we have been. There's a lot of there's a lot of overwhelm to go around. I think all of us would agree with that. Well, as we come to today's um, encouragement from the Word of God, I I mentioned I believed last week that I had attended a conference, uh, an online conference, and had some wonderful speakers and really some great, some great encouraging words. Well, Rick Warren, who pastors in Orange County, gave some. He's he's always he's always good for a sentence or a line or two that are really they're stickable. They really hang with you. Well, there's one of them, and it's this phrase: "Revival never comes out of good times." Now think about that. Revival never comes out of good times. That's profound. And I would think you would agree with me that are we in the middle of good times probably not (laughs) probably not now it doesn't mean that we don't have some good times in the midst of everything that we're experiencing but these are difficult times these are times that have been disrupted we're overwhelmed there's anxieties there's all kinds of things that we have been talking about for weeks now months now And so when I think about this, I'm encouraged. Revival never comes out of good times. So could it be that God is getting ready to do something great? I choose to believe yes, yes. There's a story in the Old Testament, or rather it's a prophecy, an Old Testament prophet by the name of Joel. Joel prophesied after a a locust swarm had just devastated the country. And I was learning a little bit about locusts. Now, you know, locusts. I don't. I, they're they're kind of like grasshoppers. From, from part of what I read, one particular author said it this way. He said, apparently, swarming locusts is none other than ordinary species of grasshopper. Just a lot of them. You know, thousands, tens of thousands. You know, to the point where they make so much noise that it's deafening. That when they die. There is a stench that is left by the bodies that are that are left. These you know these insects, carcasses, I suppose. So it's just a mess, and they eat everything. They destroy the land. In fact, one of the things I read said that they even will strip the bark off of doors and houses. I mean, this is really devastating. Well, the nation the nation had come through this right, and Joel is now prophesying and. And something that I think is is really significant, before I give you the scripture, and you might know where I'm going if you know the book of Joel, but one of the things that this particular author said, and I'm just going to read it, says, and it raises all sorts of theological questions. Joel addresses these and asks some of his own. Now listen to this. This bundle of questions is timeless and relevant to people of any country at any time in the face of any disaster, natural, or brought on by human cruelty or folly. 
Now, that's that jumped off the page at me. Because I would suggest that's exactly where we are. We are in a difficult place. Now, no, we haven't had a locust swarm, but we have had COVID-19. And I looked at the statistics this morning, 120-some thousand people within the United States have perished. There are millions of cases. So there's a lot, there's a lot going on. And then you add to that the injustices that I mentioned a moment ago. And then the response to those things, the looting and the destruction in our cities. There's a lot going on. And I'm telling you, it has a tendency to wear you down. But now I'm going to go back to the phrase Rick Warren said, revival never comes out of good times. So I'm believing that God is ready to do something marvelous. So to the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse number 28, and afterward, I love those words. <laughs> I love those words. And afterward. Somebody somebody who's watching right now needs to be giving me an amen. Okay? <laughs> no, I can't hear you. I can't see you. But somebody needs to be giving me an amen. Because that's good. Because it tells me that this locust swarm ended and afterward something's going to happen. And this is what the prophet Joel writes. I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. I will show wonders in the heaven, heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness, the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And listen to this, verse number 32, and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Can we believe, can we believe together for an afterward? Can we believe for an afterward that God is, is ready coming out of these difficult times to do something great? I believe that we can the reason I can believe it on the day of Pentecost, the Apostle Peter quoted these verses. And he said, what, you are, what, what you're experiencing is prophesied by Joel. And then we are told again in Scripture that before, before the coming, here it is, before the coming of the, uh, of the Lord, there's going to be a great outpouring. And so I'm believing for that. Would you believe with me? And here's what I, here's what I want you to do today. I want you to be encouraged by that. Be encouraged by that. And afterward... God's getting ready to do something great. Let's be ready, shall we? I can't wait. Can't wait. It's going to be great. Because we need some great right now. Wouldn't you agree? We need some great. In the meantime, we're going to continue to pray every morning at 714. So join me if you haven't on my Facebook page. Join me. Join me. We're praying that God would put a stop to this pandemic, that he would heal, that he would comfort, that he would preserve, that he would give wisdom. We're praying for our nation, that he would heal our land according to 2 Chronicles 714. Join me and let's pray together. And then follow us on social media, Crossroads Church, that is. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's where you're seeing this. But if you haven't subscribed, do so. Do so. And, and I'm also going to challenge you. Invite your friends to do the same, your family to do the same. It, it's not about Crossroads Church. It's just about sharing the message of Jesus in a variety of ways. What a great way to do that. And then also this weekend, this weekend we're worshiping. Sunday, make your reservations, make your reservations, go to go to crossroads.com, G-O-T-O -O, crossroads.com, make a reservation for which service you wish to attend. There's going to be some changes here, we're probably going to be going back to two services soon, but we'll be letting you know, not this weekend, three services, 8.30, 10, 11.30, don't miss it, our 10 a.m. will be online, that'll be our worship experience. Thanks for being with me today, be encouraged, be encouraged, I believe, revival, revival, is on its way. I believe it is. I know you do as well. Have a great day. Blessings to you.